I wanted to pop on here and do a little impromptu live to welcome all of our new members to Strides and also to answer any questions that you might have about the program. As you may have heard, we have the doors open to my membership called Strides with Amelia. This is your last chance to join the program this year. So if you're interested in joining a supportive learning community of our students that are really dedicated to improving in their writing, then be sure to check out Strides with Amelia. I actually decided to come and do this because I was reading through the survey results of the students um, when they enter the program. So one thing that's really cool about Strides is that I design all of the material to help you guys. So it's specifically designed for the students, we have riders of all levels from beginner to advanced. And that's one of my big values in everything that I do in my training, in helping you guys is that I think it's really important that we are inclusive. And that regardless of your level or um, you know, whether you're beginning or you're riding advanced or regardless of the type of horse that you have, the reality of it is that we all just want to learn and we want to get better. And there's a lot of ups and downs along the way. So Strides is about education. It's about support. It's about being inclusive. And this is your last chance to join this year. So every month we focus on a different topic. For those of you guys that are already a member, you know that this month we are focusing on engagement of the hind end. And this was actually a topic that one of the students suggested. She wanted to learn specific exercises to help strengthen her horse's hind end. So then what I do is I go and I create step-by-step -step exercises that you can do to work on engaging your horse's hind end. So usually I put together about four to five exercises that you can start practicing. And then one thing that I love about strides is I do live lectures where I go into the theory about engaging the hind end. And so this month, the lecture, I've already started putting together the slides, but I go into like the anatomy of engagement, understanding how the horse's skeleton works, how their hind end works, how their back works as well as you know what it takes based on your horse's confirmation and age and level of training to get there. So the other thing that I'm super excited about in Strides is that students actually submit their videos to me. And this is seriously one of my favorite things is to see your guys's videos, meet with you on Zoom, and then be able to give you that specific feedback that you need to help your riding because it's hard when you're riding alone and you don't even know what to work on. So it's really a special program. I always think like if you're one of my members of Strides, I think that you guys are like the true horsemen who really understand how important it is to stay consistent and to continue your education and just to have that support and encouragement to move up the levels. Um, so someone's asking, where can we find this? So there should be a link either above or below this video, amelianewcombdressage.com forward slash strides. If you click that, it will take you to the sale page. There's some more information about the program. It's $49 per month, or if you sign up for a year, you will get two months for free. And this is the, your last chance to join this year. So you have until Saturday and then the doors are closing because the new group of students, I really, really want to take care of you guys. There's a lot of content inside of Strides. There's a lot going on. So I really want to make sure that it suits you and that you don't get lost inside of everything that we have going on. So I wanted to just read through uh, some of the answers from the survey that I got of the students that we've already had a lot of students sign up and they're already going through the content and joining the WhatsApp group. Like there's been so much comments going on in our WhatsApp group, which is really special because it's such a special community. 
and everyone is really supportive and encouraging of one another. And that is hugely important. So um, here's some of our students. Um, someone says, we are happily working with a dressage training scale and slowly learning some new skills. Okay, someone else has a horse named Ice. He's a 16-year-old Andalusian that I've had for 13 years. We ride at first level. Another student says, I've had a very tough year, had a sudden behavior change and took us months to figure out the problem. He had surgery and of course, downtime. Here's another student. I started riding midnight at age 54 and did eventing for five years. She's a very forward moving horse. Another student has Zorro, an 18 year old Dutch warm blood training level horse. Uh, another student, Wish, her horse's name is Wish. Wish and I have just done about everything. He's an 18 year old quarter horse and we've done barrel racing, cow sorting, mounted archery, trail and show jumping together. Um, Doncia is a beautiful 10 year old Hanoverian mare. She's had two foals. Here's another student. I'm an almost 70 year old rider who dreamed of riding horses ever since I saw the movie Miracle of the White Stallions in 1960. Another student has an 18 year old Grand Prix horse, a five year old quarter horse. Um, I'm an adult returning rider, been out of the saddle for 23 years. Uh, another one. So anyways, it's just like reading all of the stories of the new students. You can see that we have a big age range. We have a, a lot of different horses, which I always think it's super fun to work with different types of horses, different age of horses. That's one thing that is um, really cool about dressage is that it's something that can benefit horses of basically any discipline, any breed. And because um, dressage is really about having a better relationship with your horse and communicating better with your horse. So um, yes, Mara says just $1.63 per day, probably less than you spend on your horse's supplements. <laughs> so yeah, strides is like, it's very affordable and it's totally worth the investment because you are going to feel the difference in your horse when you have support and education. And I say that all the time, like when I feel like I'm not making progress or things are going badly, then I always say to myself, like, I need to get the support. I need to get the education. Um, that is just super, super important. So um, going on with the survey. So about 51% of the students say they're intermediate. About 16% are novice and the rest are advanced or some other option. How often do you ride? Um, any of you guys that are watching live, let me know. How often do you ride? Our students in stride say they ride 55%, say they ride four to six times per week. Um, Lucy, yes, the Dressage Academy is the same as stride. So 55% ride four to six times per week. And then 32.6 ride two to three times per week. And that is fantastic. Like the more that you can ride, the more consistent that you can be about your riding, the better. And that's one thing that I really admire about all of my students inside the program is that they are dedicated to that consistency and to really putting in the effort. And that's part of it when you join Strides is you are making a commitment to your riding, to your progress, to your horse. And I it it I get you know inspired by my students, and I also hope that I inspire you guys. And that's really what the program is about, is about that commitment and discipline to the training. Okay, the next question is how often do you work with a trainer? So 32% say they work with a trainer once a week, 20% say they don't have a trainer, 
and 23% work with a trainer two to three times per week. So inside of Strides is really about supporting a variety of students. Like you can see some of them don't have a trainer at all, which is like, if you don't have a trainer at all, then you really need a program like this. Others, um, you know, are riding two to three times per week with a trainer, which is fantastic. So even if you have a trainer, Strides is a great complement to that. Because one thing that I teach a lot in Strides is the theory behind what we do. So for example, this month, since we're talking about engagement of the hind end, I'm going to talk to you about the theory of the anatomy of the horse, how to engage the hind end, what exercises to do, and then also kind of moving up the levels, how you start out teaching the horse to engage their hind end and how that evolves as you train a horse and the pitfalls that you might run into. So it's really an inclusive program that gives you not only the step-by-step -step exercises, but also the theory that you need. Um, okay, let's see, you guys in the chat, no more trainer. Yes, I'm so sorry about your trainer, Lucy. That's, that's very sad. Um, Lots of you guys say it's very hot there and you're not able to ride. Okay, so this was a super interesting thing. Um, again, this the we've had a lot of students already sign up and join Strides. And one of the questions that I asked the students is what they want to learn more about. So 88% said step-by-step -step exercises that you can do. And that's really one thing that I try to put Every month you get new exercises. I always try to have at least a few beginner or novice, novice, intermediate, and advanced exercises that you can implement with your horse. Um, what else do people want to learn about? Let me know in the chat what your biggest struggle is in your riding or what's one thing you want to learn about. Our Strides members, 79% said rider position. 74% lectures in theory. So that's one thing that every month I put together a new lecture based on whatever topic we're talking about. Um, videos from other students, rider psychology. That's another fun one. A few months ago, I did an entire workshop on psychology, which was really, really fun. And when you join Strides, you will get access to past months um, workshops as well. So that's another really great perk about the program. And yeah, if you haven't signed up yet, the link should either be above or below. We'll see if we can get anyone to sign up during the live tonight. I'll give you a shout out. If you sign up during the live tonight, we'll give you a shout out. Okay, uh, what are your goals for riding? Someone in strides, I would like to do eventing. I'm mostly interested in steady progress and learning as much as I can to go as far as we can. Confirm my horse's first level movements. Another student, get my bronze medal. Um, I would like to ride first level. Getting a better connection. Working up the training scale be the best I can so that the horses I ride continue to improve and understand what I'm asking them to do. That's a great goal. Improving the horse and the rider. Another rider wants to ride Grand Prix. Um, keep doing it. I'm 67. Learn more and do some amateur competitions. Roundness and throughness. Show and enjoy dressage with my horses. So, yeah, it's, I love, you know, I'm so passionate about teaching and helping you guys. And I love to hear from you and hear your goals and hear what you are working on. Um, so let's see. Sarah Beth, I ride and produce young horses. I'm currently at a dressage barn that has very limited turnout. I come from a combined training background and limited turnout is opposed to my philosophy on bringing up young horses. What do you think about this? I'm thinking of signing up. Yes, yeah, Sarah Beth, you should sign up. I think it's hard. Um, you know, I know I grew up in Colorado and there was a lot of space. And then moving to California, there's a lot less turnout. And it is hard on the young horses, particularly. I think that they need to get out and move and buck and play without a rider. 
Um, so yeah, if you don't have turnout, then you have to just try to get them out as much as possible. Hand walk, lunging, um, that kind of stuff is super important. Uh, let's see, Christina is focusing on rider position, lower leg position, and seat bone combination for the various lateral work movements. Okay, that's great. That's definitely one thing that we focus on a lot in strides is rider position. We are actually including Pilates. So we're going to have at least one live Pilates session every month with our resident physical therapist. So I do a lot of Pilates. It really helps me with my riding and with my position. Okay, let's see. The next survey question, describe your strengths and weaknesses as a rider. Strengths, confidence, horsemanship, communication, perseverance. Weaknesses, overthinking, having expectations that are too high. Another person says, I'm very dedicated to the process. This results in expecting too much and working too hard. Uh, another weakness is my health. My biggest strength is that I'm consistent, committed, fit, and flexible. I'm eager to learn and take critique well. I take tons of notes and visualize myself improving. Yes, visualization is a great tool to help you improve. Um, strengths, my desire, ambition, and goal to ride well. Another person says I work hard, but can work harder. I'm horribly asymmetric. So yeah, again, I mean, I'm so excited for all of the new students joining this program. We have so many amazing workshops coming up the end of this year. Um, this month we're doing engagement of the hind end. We have another workshop coming up on straightness and symmetry because that we're all crooked. Our horses are all crooked. And so we're going to dive into that. I have a workshop on um, pelvic floor health, which is kind of a sensitive topic, but I think a lot of women riders struggle with that. And our resident physical therapist is going to be doing a presentation just for the strides members to help any of you guys that are struggling with that issue. Um, we're also doing a workshop on half halts and all of these workshops are gonna be live. So we have them all scheduled through the end of the year. And if you're interested in any of them, for sure you should join Strides. You can cancel the membership at any time. So you could try it out for a while and if it doesn't work for you, then you can cancel it. And we actually have a 15 day money back guarantee. So you could even try it out. If you don't like it, I'll give you your money back because I know once you get inside of it, that you'll see what a great program it is. The other thing that's new with Strides that we are doing is we're giving you lifetime access to the content that is released during your membership. So whatever you pay for is yours. And that way, you know, we've had a lot of students that like their horses go lame or life gets in the way or it's too hot and you can't ride. So we wanted to do that um, so that you guys didn't feel like you're missing out. Um, so, yeah, the last two questions. Are you passionate about learning and improving your riding? So 100 percent of our new students say they're passionate about learning and that they are willing and able to bring a supportive and positive attitude to the strides community. And that's really, really important to me is that within strides, we are supportive of one another and we're positive because that is the only way that we can stay committed to our riding and improve. So, Anyways, I hope that this answered your questions. Let me know if you have any other questions. Um, Barbara says she's obsessed with learning. Yes, Levi is living his best life. <laughs> There's Levi. I wish I was my dog. He seriously has the best life. Um, someone says they're interesting, going to think about it. So yeah, consider it. Like I said, you have until Saturday to decide and then the doors are closing. So we're gonna be doing an orientation call with all the new students and a motivation session to get kicked off. And we have a lot of amazing things 
planned out. So I'm looking forward to working with all of you guys. And thank you so much. If you're part of the program, if you've joined, it really is special. And I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. So <laughs> Levi's waking up. He's saying hello to everyone. Hi, Levi. You're a good dog. He probably wants to have dinner. I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, 